So about a week ago, I put up something on Instagram and I said, I'm going to create an entire NFT collection. Now, I had no experience doing that. Um, I really hadn't drawn much in my life. And I said I was going to do it in 24 hours. I knew that it meant, you know, creating layers and, and then you auto generate. I didn't realize how long it would take. I also didn't realize that I would fall in love with doing it. So it's a little over a week now. Um, I'm deep in a project, but now I'm building something that, you know, could last forever. Um, if you don't know me, I, I am Noah. Um, I've got a marketing agency. Um, I started some brands, uh, you know, that's sort of my deal. Um, but I love creative and I found that creating NFTs is just, it, I, it's just, I'm obsessed now. Um, so I'm going to teach cause I feel like, I feel like procreate can be super, um, I feel like it can be really just intimidating for people. And it was for me and I made a lot of mistakes already just in this week and I've learned a lot. So I want to make this video to teach people who've never used Procreate how to start making NFTs. Let's get into it. So let's jump into it. Um, this is Procreate and I'm going to start and I'm going to go over kind of how you start uh, creating these layers and, and um, tips along the way through the learning curve that I've had. Um, so my project coming up is called Crypto Crackheads. It's going to be dope. I actually have a really cool roadmap that I'm working on as well. Um, but I'm going to try and teach you guys just sort of how to start making NFTs. You know, I'll give you an example, actually. Let's go here. Um, and let's open up the Crypto Crackhead file right now. So like, let's see. All right. So these are different layers. Okay. Um, I'll give you an example. So like this. This would be one layer that um, I would be able to use to add. So these are going to be this is going to be part of the rare collection of them. But I could essentially uh, add things like a hat or clothes or whatever. And you do that in layers. Let me give you a better example. Oh, I guess this is good. So then, right? So then the hat would is another layer. And the idea is because you're putting it through a machine um, or code that is going to auto generate them, it has to be very precise. Everything when you're creating these NFTs has to be very precise. Let's go back and I'll start drawing from scratch right now to kind of give you an idea um, of how everything works, right? You always want to start with a new layer. Um, keep this one here. Uh, so I'll start drawing. So like for the base, a lot of people like to do, um, they like to sketch it out. I don't really, but I'll do it for this video. And what that means is kind of getting the uh, sketch and being rough around the edges. It's just kind of like coming up with the concept, right? And another thing, keep in mind, I like to do is kind of draw a circle in about that much space, right? That's a terrible circle, but you want to keep these corners aside um, because this is really where you want it to be. And um, that's because like if it's a PFP NFT, um, like a profile picture like the apes or anything like that, you want the uh, you want it to be in this space so people can put it on their Instagram as their profile or an avatar or whatever you want to call it, right? So kind of just like getting this, this area sort of circled out, right? Um, so then you want to start sort of sketching. And by the way, so if, if once you're done with this, a good thing to know is that you just go here and you can get rid of the opacity, right? So let me start by creating the base right now. Here's the base. Let's see, what do I want to do? Um, I'll just do something like... Actually, you know what? That's a good thing to teach too. So you can lock um, and get perfect lines. So if I go like this and I hold it, you see how it locks and creates a perfect line? All right, so let's do, let's go 
kind of a crypto crackhead thing that I'm doing. That ear is going to be way too big, but I can fix it. Um, boom. Yeah, I'm going to start from hold on. Okay, so let's. Maybe I'll do that for an ear just to get the shape right. And then. narrow it down or I can do that and then I can erase get some of it off boom right get a, get a lot of that off kind of clean, clean the shape a little bit more I probably want to make this ear a little bigger and then yeah okay so for now that's maybe you guys won't be able to understand what this can be because but my brain does already um so let's do this. Uh, let's start and let me use let me use this pen. It's a cartoon pen and I like it because you can kind of look, I'll show you. It's it's it um if your hands are shaky, it's really good. Because you can kind of like it's kind of perfect lines. You see how it kind of controlled it's hard to explain, but with any other pen, it um you you wouldn't have gotten those perfect straight crisp I know it's not straight lines but the crispness of it it would have been a lot more choppy anyway so let's do this okay now I'm gonna get rid of this it's why I don't like this uh, that will whole choppy garbage right so then I want to do an ear to get the ear going All right so boom, something like this, inner ear area, which you really don't need to do when you're, f I could go back for that, but whatever, for now it's fine. So let's keep, clean it up a little bit, All right, so this is kind of like the base head, okay? And I already kind of messed up um, in the sense that I didn't leave enough room up here, so always keep in mind, leave enough room. So, because I'm going to add hair and all that other stuff, right? So, let's say that's my base for right now. I'm not going to do any shadowing. I just want to keep it basic. Um, so, then what I would do is I would add a layer like that. Now, I'm going to do the eyes, right? So, I'm going to do kind of like what I'm doing with Crypto Crackheads. Boom. Um, now, you can copy something by hitting that S right here um, and then you kind of drag that circle around and then tap copy and paste and then you go back and you tap this arrow and now you have so the size is sometimes I've noticed it's hard to drag but the idea is that you now have the perfect same circle as that one right it might be a little off but but it's the same shape, same direction. So that looks good. Okay, so then, um, so these are eyes, right? So let's do, um, so I can show you guys how to kind of fill in some color stuff. Let's do, boom. Okay, um, what do I want to do with this eye? So they're kind of looking up, so you know what I'm going to do. So then if you wanted to drag a color in without having to s sit there and color it all in. Okay, let me add that layer. We put it under, always better. So when you're coloring something in, it's always better to go under. Um, because I'll show you, hold on. So when you go under it, you can't really tell, but it's going under the line so that rather than up over it, right? Because if you're coloring something in and you go over the line, you start to see those imperfections. Whereas this, I'll show you, let's say it goes out of the box. It's much easier 
to clean. Huh. This is the layer part that you have to start to get used to. And I certainly do. Okay, so this is the layer I should be using for color, not where the eyes are. Now let's try that again. So see how, okay, so perfect. So I color that in, right? Say I went outside the line a little. I wanna clean it up, but I don't want to erase this because I'm under. I'm not gonna erase any of that part of the eye. And that is something so basic, but I had to learn it and it was so important. Um, so we'll do this, right? You can drag and drop the, the the ink in, and I don't know if it's just me, but I have had a lot of trouble doing that, so I tend not to anymore. Meaning you can just go to this corner. I'll show you what happens. Go to this corner, you drag the ink in, but it should, you should be able to do it where it goes right, just, it should go in there, and it doesn't for me. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm an idiot. Probably, okay, let's get rid of that. Um, another trick is instead of, I keep hitting back to delete, you can also do tap two fingers on the screen. Okay, so so I've got these eyes, I wanna add, um, let's make them a little cracky. And I wanna get a thinner pen so I'll do the uh, detailer pen, which is super thin and kind of perfect because I'm sh my hands are shaky, but it can be for this one. So like something like these, right? Boom. Boom. So now I've got these eyes. Um, maybe I'll do... I'll keep it basic for now. Um, I could add maybe just some accents like cartoon, let's do maybe like, wait. Not even necessary. Hmm. No, let's not even do that, okay. I'm just gonna leave the eyes like that for now for this video. Um, Okay, so now this is one layer. Um, and so because the color's below, so the outline's above and the color's below, what you wanna do is you can tap here when the eye's done, and then you wanna do merge down. And what that does is it combines them into one layer. So now this is one layer, right? So I can turn it on and I can turn it off. So I can add a bunch of different eyes. I should merge it down again, sorry, hold on. So now I have one set of eyes and you know, in a collection you're gonna have, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 sets of different eyes and mouth. And, um, and so this is great because now if I want to, when you, when you save everything for, for these NFT projects, you actually have to save each layer. You're not saving the face like this. So like what I would do is I would turn off the face and then I would actually remove the background. So it should be like that, transparent. And then I hit gallery and then I would hit select. Oh shit. And then I would hit select and then save. So um, let's, so then the same thing goes for mouth, right? So I wanna do a mouth, always remember add layer. Okay, so let's say. Right, boom. So, get the mouth, make it a little bit cracky. Um, let's add some color to, you know what, let's do this first. Uh, let's use the outliner pen. I'm gonna kind of add, let's see how I can do this. It's hard to hold this phone while I do these video, but. Okay, so that would be the tongue area. For the tongue, I wanna do Kind of this pink. Let's see if it works now. No. So it does do the full circle, but I don't want that. Um, anyways, again, remember, add the layer, but make it go above, below. 
you want to color on the below layer so that it's easier to clean up and it doesn't it's not messy let's see if that works no it's still not so let's do this pull out my paint brush color brush and then start to fill in probably make it a little thicker you know and then really can get messy because look that's the beauty of at least putting it a layer under right so boom what it does is that line is actually a blocker so I'd have to go a little bit forward to get under that and and chop see how that chops it up but really I can just kind of or right so then it, mm, I'm lazy. I really should do it thin like that. So, okay. Let me clean this up. Oh my God. It's really hard to do this while I'm holding this camera. Hold down to get that color again. Boom. Okay, that looks pretty clean. Um, and then I want to add maybe do something like this. This whatever. See how it goes under? See that blue goes under? Sometimes it, I would, because I would have two hands and I could actually have more control right now, with, um, I would not be so messy, but for this video. Okay, I'm about to, it's really hard to hold this. Oh, shit. Nope, I want that color. Okay. Boom. A little more delete on this. That's good. Um, I'm not gonna make it perfect right now. So, this, so then that's the mouth, right? So what you wanna do is merge down again, right? So what you're doing is you're creating, but make sure it's all clean. Like I know right now I don't, that this has things I would fix. See the white there? I would fix that, but for this video, it's all good. Um, so saying it's done, I'm never gonna use this. So for the video, it's fine, merge down. So now that's another asset, right? And you can, as you go along, I would suggest start naming everything. Um, it helps when you before you start to actually mint. Um, and then, then you get into close, right? So I'm not gonna get too far into it now because the video is getting long, but so like that would be whatever, that's the shirt, right? And then you start coloring and you put the textures and you can do, you know, like kind of what I've done here. I'll show you a better example. Like this is a jacket I did, right? Gets into more detail. But the point is that you want it to be all different layers. You're going to need a lot of layers um, and everything. So let's make a list of what you're going to do. So it would be the body the head, the eyes, the mouth, the hair, the hat, the accessories, the sunglasses, like all of those need to be in different layers. Um, and I, you know, I'm someone, I never used this a week ago. I've 
completely just gotten obsessed and taught myself I've not drawn and um, and I think it's coming out pretty cool so I'm gonna try and make another video follow-up after this that's a little bit more advanced I'll get into shading and stuff but I hope that you like this and you dig it and you should all join the crypto crackhead community because it's about to be I promise you if you know me I'm not gonna like bail on this project I'm gonna build something that lasts forever um, all right crackheads let's See you on the next video.